Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ignite bringing you a nice, pretty intense domination gameplay on the map Arcaden. And we got a friend here also. What's up guys? I'm Famous is Live. Everyone on my channel, this is Ignite. And that was a pretty awesome intro, I gotta say. Yours was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, I can't, dude. I can't live up to that. It's been working on it for a while. Got a lot of videos going. <laughs> Said that quite a bit. <laughs> But yeah, this is Famous is Live. Actually, ran into his channel on one of his How to Use One of the Perks videos. Those are pretty intense. I'm liking those ones. Yeah, I just started that series. Hopefully, to keep it going. I got some pretty good feedback. Got some coming out. Should be pretty good. Sounds good. Well, in this gameplay, other than all that, we're going to talk about a few things. One is the Moab, another one is. What we like about Modern Warfare 3, your favorite things in the game, and then what we're looking forward to in Black Ops 2. So, first question I guess, do you think the Moab is a good introduction in it? Better than the nuke in Modern Warfare 2? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. My opinions are kind of mixed on it because it gives people more of a reason to camp, which I can't stand campers at all. And it just gives them more of a reason to just sit still and not really move. Unless you rush for a Moab, which is what I sometimes do. Then, But on the other side, it's really good, though, because it gives you something to shoot for after you're already past 10th Prestige. I mean, if you already have everything unlocked and everything finished, there's nothing else to really do but go for Moabs. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, for me, they're one of the big things that like gets my heart going in this game. I mean, when you get the close game wins those are pretty intense get their adrenaline going but when I'm on like a 17 kill streak or something I get like sweaty palms and my heart's racing and usually that causes me the death but I don't know I think they're interesting I never played Modern Warfare 2 all that much so I never really experienced the nuke um, but the whole thing where it ends the game that seems kinda lame I like yeah. how it doesn't in the game, it just kills the whole enemy team. Right, and the nuke was a lot easier to earn in Modern Warfare 2 because your kill streak stacked. Like, you could get your Harrier and then you basically had the nuke depending on what map you were on. Oh, right, because it wasn't a gun streak, it was... Regular kill streak. Yeah, I remember hearing people would boost to it with like a chopper gunner. Yeah, that was, that was the worst part about it, was how easy it was to get. It wasn't really a challenge. Yeah, it sounds... A little overpowered, I don't know. Yeah, I it was. Heard people would boost for it? Like, they would yeah. sit in corners for it? No, they would, like, put a tactical insertion, and then they'd have someone, like, if you go into free-for-all, mm -hmm. you'd have a friend follow you, and then put a tactical insertion, and then they just spawned in front of you until you got your Harrier, and then you just let your Harrier get the nuke for you, pretty much. <laughs> wow, that takes some serious skill right there. That's what I'm saying. So, I know we were talking, actually, we played together to get this gameplay and we we're talking about a lot of the things that Modern Warfare 3 has that are bad and it's kind of wrong with it <laughs> but I don't know what are your favorite things about the game I'm gonna have to dig deep to find some of these <laughs> but uh, I like uh, I like how you can switch through your kill streaks. that's just something mm, really yeah. little but if I was playing black ops I would always run blackbird chopper gunner dogs and I'd always get a double kill, and I'd get my Blackbird and Chopper at the same time, and I couldn't call in one or the other. I'd always have to call in my Chopper first when that was probably <laughs> one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, I don't know. We'll switch to you. What do you like? What's your one favorite thing? I think the biggest thing for me, like one reason I got bored of Black Ops, I played the heck out of that game. I love that game. But I guess I got bored with it only because of the guns. So I like having a switch up with guns like the CM901, I used to really like that gun. And I like that there's more variety with the guns in this game. I mean there are the set ones like the MP7 and ACR that people use a lot. But I like that side of it. And I actually do like that the kill streaks stack in a sense that like if you can use a predator to get your next few kill streaks or whatever instead of it being strictly guns like it was in Black Ops. Yeah, I'm kind of on your side with that too. I mean, it's say I mean, I was gonna say at the same time that it takes less skill, but again, in Black Ops, the highest kill streak was 11. So, right. With Juggernaut being 17, 
I think it is. I think you're right. It's either 17 or 18. Yeah, something One like that. that. That's just a little bit much for me. I don't usually run Juggernaut, but... Right. Another thing I really like is um, how they brought in new game modes. Like, they didn't really bring in game modes that much in Black Ops that we haven't seen before. Like, this one had Kill Confirmed and Team Defender. And although they're just very small things, they kind of switched up the how you play the game a little bit. Yeah, it's true. Like, and even, like, the community playlist, like Drop Zone and Infected... Right, I completely forgot about those. Those yeah, ones you're can right. be fun. Drop zone. I, I'm kind of indifferent on drop zone, but it's all right. I like infected a lot better. Yeah, drop zone's good for getting clips for snipers. <laughs> Pretty much. And then we're getting a little close to the end of the video, but Black Ops Two. You know more about that one than I do. What are you most looking forward to with that? Uh, I mean, I base my gamer tag off of this game. My my gamer tag is. <laughs> Black Ops 2 with a 4 for the A. I mean, I base my gamer tag off this game. I really like the direction Treyarch's going with this, with the 10 point streak system, how you got 10 points and you can just put anything the way you want. There's millions of combinations. It's going to open up a whole bunch of new doors for pretty much everything. It, I'm really interested to see how that plays out, how you could have like all perks and just a knife. That's going to be really good for like only use me blade. Right, and another thing that they have, there's actually no perks that affect your gun. Like, you know how sleight of hand lets you, or there's, which way was it? There's, It's one of the ways around, but like, sleight of hand, it only affects that gun. It doesn't affect your character at all. Like, mm -hmm. mm, steady aim, it affects every gun you have, but in Black Ops 2, there's an attachment for it. So if you want steady aim, you're going to have to put it on just that gun. Oh, and there's no pro perks at all. So then, say you were to pick up another one that wouldn't have like a steady aim on it? No, like there's a fast mag attachment which is takes place of sleight of hand. If the gun has that, then it has sleight of hand. And if your gun has that, then your gun has sleight of hand. It's gonna be it's gonna be intense. It's gonna be interesting to see what they come up with. Wow, that does sound pretty awesome. Well that was actually the end of this gameplay as you get the final kill cam, get a double kill in it, that was pretty FMG awesome. 9 Pro. <laughs> Gotta love those, and we totally dominated that team. 200 to 36 was the score. <laughs> that was ridiculous, oh, but... It was fun. It was. So, it's gonna be the end of this one. Wraps this up. Thanks for coming on with me. Yep, no problem. Thanks for the dual com opportunity. Yep, and we will see you guys in the next episodes on both our channels. We both got some good videos coming up. Can't wait to see more of your how to use the perks. And I'm liking that. that 60 on 60 you have. I'm Ooh, liking that one. That one's getting intense. We got some I'm good ones coming one. out for that. Alright, I think that's about it. Yep, so until next time, guys, peace out. Later.